This video is a continuation from Jailbreaking or G1 Made Easy Part 1 and in order to get jailbroken you must first watch that video. For those of you who are already aware of this, let's recap and continue from where we left off. The last thing we did was successfully connect to Telnet and enter a chain of commands. Once we finished I asked you to return to your main screen. So from your main screen I'd like you to Navigate back to the Android market yet again and search for an application called Terminal Emulator. Once you've located the Terminal Emulator application, download it, and when it's finished, open it. Once you've opened the Terminal Emulator, you should see a blue screen with a small font displaying a dollar symbol. Type SU, then press Enter. It will start a second line beginning with a number symbol from here you'll need to type in as follows type the first line and when you're finished press enter type the second line and when you're finished press enter type the third line and when you're finished press enter type only the command lines located inside the boxes press the enter button after completing each line if for any reason you were unable to read the three lines of command please look for it in the description box of this video now that we're finished entering commands in both the Telnet application and the Terminal Emulator application, it's time to make use of the files we've placed on the SD card. So press your home button, unmount, safely remove the device from your USB cord, and power off your phone. Now that your phone is off, you'll need to hold down the home and power button until you reach the exclamation mark. Open your QWERTY keyboard, hold down ALT and press L. This should exhibit a list of options in your default Android recovery utility. What we want to do is apply the update from our SD card, so hold down Alt and press S to apply this update. Once the update is finished loading, follow the on-screen instructions to reboot, so press Home and Back at this time. Once your phone has rebooted and you've applied the update successfully, I'd like to congratulate you because you now have gained root access and you are using a jailbroken phone. With that being said, you have access to countless features, functionality, and versatility that were not available before you began this process. However, you are still running on a downgraded build of the phone and some of the features that were available to you on the before are not available to you now, including Google Voice Search, Update Manager, and the Latitude applet that came with the main application of the phone. So we'll need to upgrade to a current build of the phone made specially for root users. This upgrade will look virtually identical to the build you began with, but you'll have multi-touch auto-zoom functionality. You may now press back button on your phone, connect the USB cord, mount it from your phone, and return to your computer. From here, we'll need to download another file from the description box in this video. Click the link under the word upgrade and save it to your desktop. UK users, click the RC9 link. USA users click the RC33 link. Once the file has finished downloading go back to your desktop and click start then click my computer and open the removable disk in which the information from your SD card is located. There you'll see an update we've previously used to apply to hard SPL and at this point right click it and delete it. Now what I'd like you to do is drag the JF version 1.42 RC33.zip file from your desktop and apply it to your SD card. I'd like you then, when it's finished, to rename it to Update. Once the file has been named Update, I want you to press Back. right click on the removable disk and press eject. From this point proceed to power off your phone. Now that the phone is off you'll need to hold down the home and the power button until you reach the exclamation point and just as we've done before open your QWERTY keyboard and hold down alt and press the L button. This should exhibit a list of options to your default Android recovery utility. What we want to do is apply the update from our SD card so hold down ALT and press S to apply this update. Once the update finishes loading, follow the on-screen instructions to reboot. So press home and back at this time. Once your phone reboots, that's it. You're back in RC33. 
You should get familiar with this process for flashing updates to your phone by turning the phone on and off and holding down the home and power button. Always remember to remove the old update from your SD card before applying a new one and make sure you always name it update and not update.zip. Lastly, I'd like to thank everybody at the Android community for their swift answers and putting up with all of us who ask the same questions over and over again. They always give detailed information for whatever question you may need. I also want to thank XDA Forums for hosting amazing instructions and providing the public with free downloads that would otherwise be hard to find. You guys are the greatest. Gotta thank Google Android for providing an amazing operating system. Can't forget the YouTube support, Cool PS Tuts, and the Rebel Droid. And last but not least, Mr. Jesus Freak himself for writing the modified updates that we all depend on. It's because of his custom builds, thousands of us get jailbroken and rooted every day. This is the first tutorial I've made, but I plan on making a few more instructional videos so that people may have the latest builds and features. Subscribe to my channel if you feel so inclined, and please feel free to write me if you need one-on-one -on -one assistance with anything related to this video. Goodbye.